Can we take a little time? Back porch in the rocking chair Leave the light on I'll be meeting you out there Reminisce every moment past All the times we shared You and I growing old together We stood and faced the weather One thing I know You are my soul Got a life ahead of us You are my soul Got a life ahead of us And we're gonna take it slow Little things you do I love about you Hold you close like the day we met And watch our lives unfold in the sky Tonight Oh, beautiful life Just you Good morning and welcome to the celebration of the Eucharist with the Church of the Resurrection in Bryanston. Welcome to all subscribers and viewers on our YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. The antiphons are on page 798 and the readings are on page 808 of the Daily Missal. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Michael McCleary and the healing and recovery of Petronella Mance. Please stand for the entrance antiphon. O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is our Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome as we come together with joy in our hearts to celebrate the Eucharist today. Jesus Christ has come among us to proclaim the good news of God's saving mercy. Lord Jesus, you open our eyes to see the needs of people all around us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you let us hear your voice in the cry of those who are poor. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to follow you with faith and love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let the birds fly above the earth, across the firmament of the heavens. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves with which the waters swam according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures 
according to their kinds, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the cattle according to their kinds, and everything that creeps upon the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humanity in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over the, all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humanity in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living creature that moves upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God finished his work which he had done. And God rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all his work which God had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray this responsorial psalm. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. When I see the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? the son of man, that you care for him. Yet you have made him little lower than the angels. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet, all of them, sheep and oxen, yes, even the cattle of the fields, birds of the air, and fish of the sea that make their way through the waters. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name through all the earth. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Bend my heart, O God, to your decrees. Grant me mercy by your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, when the Pharisees had gathered together to Jesus with some of the scribes who had come up from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands, observing the tradition of their elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they purify themselves. 
and there are many other traditions which they observe, the washing of cups and pots and vessels of bronze. And the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with hands defiled? And he said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of people. You leave the commandment of God and hold fast to the tradition of the people. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and he who speaks evil of father or mother, let him surely die. But you say, If a man tells his father or his mother, What you would have gained from me is korban, that is, given to God, then you no longer permit him to do anything for his mother or father, thus making void the word of God through your tradition which you hand on, and many such things you do. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> There are two stories of creation in the book of Genesis. Humans are created last in the story in Genesis chapter 1, while humans are created before all, everything else in Genesis chapter 2. And so what we heard this morning is um, the, the ending part of the first, Genesis, first creation story in Genesis chapter 1. And it describes the appearance of light and sky and land and the extraordinary variety of creatures in the world. The sixth day describes the most precious aspect of creation, the appearance of human life. After each day of creation, the statement is made that the work of that particular day is good. After the sixth day, when human life appears, the concluding statement is not only good, but very good. And so we get a sense of the sacredness of the created world, culminating in the creation of human beings in the divine image. Male and female, in the image of God, he created them. It's really humbling to reflect that we are created in the image of God. And as we look deeper at this, it reminds us that marriage and family life is a significant image of God's inner being. And here, God must continue to be present. After this work on the sixth day, God proceeds to rest from all the work he had done and so blessed the seventh day. This is not a withdrawal from his newly created world in order to rest but God rests in the midst of all its beauty and goodness. The world is God's true temple, true temple and church. The sound of wind and surf, thunder and birdsong, they are all hymns of praise. And so this background can throw light on the gospel of today to understand why Jesus spoke as he did. Jesus blames the Pharisees and the lawyers for artificially setting aside God's will, that we respect and appreciate the world as blessed by God, just for the sake of keeping your traditions. To wash and clean our food before eating is, of course, very good and very important, but only done in a spirit of respect for others. If it leads to arguments and a holier-than-thou attitude, then it violates God's will that we form a united human family made in his own likeness. 
Scripture is continually undermining the barriers that we humans want to raise between one group and another. Jesus would not tolerate separations and class distinctions that divide and split people apart. Anyone who promotes divisiveness and conflict needs to examine if the warning applies to them. This people pays me lip service, but their heart is far from me. And now we offer up our prayers and petitions to the Lord. We pray for the church that she may never lose sight of God's commandments for the sake of any human tradition, but keep her heart close to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that our leaders in the world may come to respect the dignity of man and woman created in the divine image and to work for life, justice, and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that the human race may exercise its dominion over God's wonderful creation with care and with reverence, acting as co-workers with the divine creator of all things. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that God, who found his whole creation to be very good, may repair the ravages of disease, poverty, and addiction in the lives of his children, especially those for whom we pray. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our deceased loved ones, created little less than the angels, that they may now be enjoying the company of the angels in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for peace in Southern Africa. O oh God of justice and love, bless us, the people of Southern Africa, and help us to live in your peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon. Where there is discord, let me sow harmony. Divine Master, Grant that I may not so much seek to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, to receive sympathy as to give it. For it is in giving that we shall receive, in pardoning that we shall be pardoned, in forgetting ourselves that we shall find unending peace with others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord our God, you once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty. Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll use the common preface five and the second Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Booty and Duncan, our bishops, or the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us pause for a moment as we pray for peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. The communion and fun. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy his wonders for the children of men, for he satisfies the thirsty soul and the hungry he fills with good things. I now invite all who are watching on our YouTube channel to make your own personal act of spiritual communion at this moment. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I receive you. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, you have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.